Hello, everyone. I'm Cheryl Hicks, the Executive Director and CEO of the Toilet Board Coalition. We are a business-led um, multi-stakeholder platform building the sanitation economy, supporting business solutions for the global sanitation and now hygiene crisis. Uh, we have started this video series to, to share publicly um, the solutions that we've been working on over the past five years uh, together with our, our members, the, the businesses really at the front lines of delivering new solutions uh, to transform uh, the unaffordable costs of, of sanitation um, and hygiene into sustainable and resilient uh, business opportunities that we believe um, can deliver significant benefits uh, to business and society. And I'm really pleased to have with me today, Pete Delcamera, who is the, the chief scientist of Kimberly Clark. And uh, Pete uh, has been with the Toilet Board Coalition uh, since our founding. And Kimberly Clark is a founding member of the Toilet Board Coalition and, uh, and bringing a, a lot to, um, to the design of the sanitation economy, the vision of the sanitation economy, and the various opportunities for business that lie with in. So, so Pete, I would love for you to, to kick off by um, talking a, a little bit about the, the business solutions for sanitation um, that we've been working on together at the Toilet Board Coalition um, and, uh, and some of the, uh, the new opportunities really that you're most excited about. Great. Hey, Cheryl, it's wonderful to be here. It's always a pleasure to be with you <clears throat> and to be working on the Toilet Board Coalition. I think the uh, mission of the Toilet Board is just so important. This idea of connecting entrepreneurs and using local entrepreneurs to solve the global sanitation crisis. So it's been a real privilege to be a part of the uh, Toilet Board Coalition. And for Kimberly Clark, you know, our you know, vision is to lead the world in essentials for a better life. And there really is nothing more essential than a person's health. And the best way to improve a person's health is by improving hygiene. And the best way to improve hygiene is through sanitation. And so you know, that's why KC is such a strong proponent of the Toilet Board Coalition. Um, you know, the, in addition, you know, to make it more a little practical, every year we have an opportunity to mentor these startup companies and to provide uh, capabilities that reside in a large corporation like Kimberly Clark. And um, you know, this year I have the pleasure of working with Panin Energy in South Africa, and we've been primarily focused on helping them understand how they build their strategy, how they look to expand geographically, um, how they make decisions on contract manufacturing, and how they scale up their operations. And so that's been an ongoing dialogue this year that's been uh, really rewarding. Hopefully for them, it's been definitely rewarding for me. To, to come in there um, on your, your work with Panin and, uh, and the mentorship um, that, that you're providing them. I mean, can you talk a little bit about um, Panin and, uh, and, and Kimberly Clark and the, uh, the complementarity there? You mentioned Panin Energy. Uh, what does Panin Energy have to do with sanitation? Yeah, so what they're primarily doing is they're developing um, standalone toilets um, uh, that, um, that then can be um, the resources from those toilets can be collected and be used uh, for a source of nutrients and energy. Um, and they're continuing to expand out their business model both locally and have uh, visions to expand geographically, even internationally. And so Kimberly Clark has a lot of experience in growing internationally and making decisions on how to go into a country. And those have been the source of a number of our conversations. Fantastic. Um, and uh, one of the, the concepts of the sanitation economy um, is, of course, the, the circular sanitation economy, which is, is one of the ways um, we can derive uh, value from sanitation systems and, uh, and, and cost recover the, um, the, the costs of, of infrastructure. And, and uh, of course, for, for those that are in the sanitation field, we'll know that, that half of the world still does not have access to, uh, to sanitation, uh, safely managed sanitation and hygiene. Uh, and, uh, and so these, these new business models that are, are finding innovative ways to, uh, to both provide the access, but also um, uh, really uh, um, optimize the value in the system, which is in the resources, which uh, until, uh, until these new models of, of circular sanitation came along, went uh, virtually untapped. Um, and can you say something uh, maybe about the, the sanitation economy, um, Pete, and 
and the evolution. Uh, again, you were there at the beginning, you know, when we started really looking at, at access models that uh, provided access to sanitation and, and have now grown into the areas of circular sanitation and digital sanitation. Um, can, you, can you talk a little bit about that journey? Yeah, you know, because when I first joined the Toilet Board Coalition, you know, I thought it was simply about providing toilets to people who didn't have toilets. And obviously, that's a big part of it. Um, but the evolution has been so much more that the toilet becomes a source for not only human dignity, but a source for resources, whether that's water or energy or nutrients for agriculture, and how we better connect industries together around this common denominator in every single civilization, which is a sanitation system. And, and then even beyond that, this idea of a digital sanitation economy. It was like, what, what is that? But, you know, this whole idea of providing tools to people so that they understand where there's a safe, available, mm. clean toilet and, and can go to that um, and not have to risk their life uh, to go to a toilet. But even more important than that, and, and maybe you'll get to this, Cheryl, but in the world of COVID-19, you know, we're recognizing that um, the virus actually is in the sanitation system, and it becomes an early indicator of a disease vector. And so again, uh, th this, this sanitation system become, is not only a, a source of dignity, you know, not only a source of resources, but a source of medical insight into communities to understand the onset of disease, the spread of disease, and how we better contain it. And so this evolution for me has been from the simple toilet to an integral part of human life, um, and, and really how we protect human life as well. Great. Thank, thank you, Pete. Um, the, uh, yes, the, the digital digitization of, of sanitation systems um, is a relatively new area of work, but, but really we're seeing it accelerated, as you said, by COVID-19 and, and really the, the need to understand more and monitor more, um, you, you know, early, early warnings for uh, for various uh, diseases that you know will continue to come, uh, and so this is a really exciting new development again of where sanitation systems can provide solutions, more solutions to society um, than uh, being able to safely manage your own hygiene, um, but as you said, resources and now um, uh, health information. So uh, very exciting, and and maybe uh, while we're on the, the topic of of COVID, can you talk a little bit about you know your observations, what what you've seen. Um, in the business and in terms of how COVID-19 is accelerating sanitation economy um, trends. Uh, you know, Kimberly Clark has obviously been at the, the front lines uh, of the response, providing a lot of product um, uh, to the response. Um, really, really would love to understand, um, you know, how businesses are, are like Kimberly Clark are responding. Yeah, you know, first and foremost for Kimberly Clark, the one word that under care, under, underlies everything that we do is the word care. Mm -hmm. We're really focused on caring for our people, making sure that they're safe, you know, caring for our consumers and really caring for the planet. Even all of our businesses are named adult care, you know, family <laughs> care, you know, baby care. Um, and, and, you know, through COVID-19, the, the incredible things for Kimberly Clark, you know, maybe it's this whole idea mm -hmm. of never waste a good crisis, is <laughs> Kimberly Clark is really operating more like an entrepreneurial company today. The decisions that we're making, the speed, the agility, mm -hmm. you know, the focus on making sure that our products are available, our essential products are available for people when they need them most. Um, but, it, but it's changed how we even think about what we're going to do post COVID-19. I think mm -hmm. it's important for all of us to think about what are the permanent system, systemic structural changes that are going to happen as a result of mm -hmm. COVID-19, because what we're seeing is changes that would have taken 10 years is now happening in 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a rapid change. And so, you know, for KC, you know, I think an important piece of this is how we protect uh, people from infection and disease. You know, how do we do a better job in disinfecting surfaces, sanitation skin, sanitiz sanitizing skin, and filtering air that we breathe? And we're bringing that into, um, you know, through our KC professional business, you know, right into the washroom, right into, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the restrooms around the world. Um, and we have Onovation, which is a digital platform for the smart uh, economy as well around uh, restrooms. 
Um, so, so I would say the way it's been, it's changed KC is we're more fleet of foot, um, much more effective at decision making, and really focused on this underlying principle of care mm -hmm. um, for Kimberly Clark. It's really highlighted the importance of that within our company. And um, no, thank you, Pete. And, and first of all, congratulations for, you know, to, to you and all of your, your colleagues. Uh, I mean, the, um, the, the agility, the, the swiftness of, of the, the um, uh, response and, and how Kimberly Clark, you know, has been um, providing such needed, um, you know, product and, and, uh, and care uh, for the responses is, is truly inspiring. So congratulations to, to all of you, first of all. Um, and, and, uh, and just on, on one of the things you, you touched upon, I think is, is, you know, I've described as leadership as well. And, you know, the companies of the, the toilet board coalition, um, are, are leaders, uh, you're all leaders in, um, in, in hygiene and, and sanitation and circular economy and, and the digital economies. And, um, and we're re been a relatively small group, uh, really working on this new vision for the sanitation economy. And, you know, as, um, the demand and accelerate. Uh, what would you What would you say to other companies? You know that maybe weren't thinking about their responsibility in terms of hygiene, um, and uh, and where they can get involved in the work of the Toilet Board Coalition and um, and embracing the sanitation economy. Yeah, I mean, one thing I would say is, is even if your business has nothing to do with sanitation whatsoever. Um, within your business, you have capabilities, whether that's around marketing or sales or manufacturing or supply chain or research and development. And these entrepreneurs around the world who are working to solve the sanitation crisis can benefit from those capabilities that you have in, the co in your company. And what a great way to build employee engagement you know, every single employee who has some skills or capabilities would love the opportunity, I believe, to help an entrepreneur solve the sanitation crisis. Uh, so I would say, even if you have nothing to do with sanitation, there's an opportunity to get involved. Uh, but if your business does have, um, you know, something to do with sanitation, what a great way to gain consumer insight that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise within your company by talking to these entrepreneurs that are right on the ground, interfacing with your consumers and understanding what their pain points are and what the biggest opportunities are for your business. So it's an opportunity to do something really good for the planet um, and for people um, and an opportunity, I think, to do something good for your business and your employees. Thank you. Um, and, and Pete, as the, the chief scientist, um, you know, we've, um, we've also, um, you know, had a, a technical committee at the, the Toilet Board Coalition that, that, you know, has also been looking at uh, the new solutions that will be needed for um, circular sanitation, for example, and the new solutions now um, for hygiene. Um, can you talk a little bit about how, you know, businesses at the Toilet Board like Kimberly Clark are, are thinking about that, about not just um, how the, the toilet is changing, but, but how the, the products also going into the system are changing? Yeah, and, and even more than that, I think um, how how collaboration is changing. That's so vital, you know, so this partnership council that's part of the Toilet Board Coalition is really focused on open innovation and how we really develop stronger partnerships in the technical community to solve these problems uh, for the entrepreneurs. Um, you know, so, you know, I, I always say no matter how much we know about absorbency as Kimberly Clark, the world knows more, you know, mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, no matter how much we spend on toilet tissue, the world outspends us. And so, you know, how do we partner with other companies really to bring solutions, um, you know, not only to Kimberly Clark, but hopefully to the entrepreneurs around the world as well. You, you know, one other thing, um, Cheryl, I'd be remiss not to mention, which I think is really important that's tied to um, the sanitation economy is uh, menstruation, health and mm -hmm. hygiene. Mm -hmm. And that's a big part of our business with the Kotex brand, of course. But um, I think that the Toilet Board Coalition plays a really important part in giving women access to sanitation services uh, that can help with what's considered a stigma around the world, which, you know, is menstruation. Mm -hmm. And you know how how do we bring solutions that are affordable and accessible uh, to every woman around the world? And, and and how do we give girls access to education by being able to manage their men, you know menstruation um, and empowering women? And you know I think 
a, a big passion of Kimberly Clark's is how do we close the gender gap uh, that exists around the world? Um, you know, I, I'm always appalled that uh, you probably have seen these statistics, but the World Economic Forum says that it's going to take almost 100 years to yeah. close the gender gap, which is totally unacceptable, right? I mean, rather than 100 years, how do we do that in the next six months? I mean, what mm -hmm. would need to be true? Right. And how do we be part of that solution? And so I'm really proud to work for a company like Kimberly Clark. Um, and, and as a matter of fact, we're celebrating the 100 years of Kotex this year. You know, 1920 um, was, was when Kotex was introduced. And I, and I find it no, not a small coincidence that in the United States, that's also the year that women got the right to vote. Um, <laughs> so here we are celebrating 100 years of, you know, women's right to vote oh, and, and access to Kotex, you know. Well, to, I love this challenge. Uh, I love this challenge. You know, let, let's, let's speed it up six months, you know. Yeah, right. Uh, and and um, I, I think the other thing that, that you touched on there in, in, terms, of, in terms of women and um, menstrual hygiene management, uh, women empowerment, you know, this is a... Uh, this is one of the, uh, I, I find fascinating parts of, of the sanitation economy is that we keep uncovering these new opportunities um, to, to really do better. Um, and in terms of uh, overall access to sanitation and hygiene and, and what that means. And, um, and I think the, the um, menstrual hygiene management is, uh, is a really exciting new area that has really been neglected in, in terms of innovation um, for, for low income um, uh, contexts and, um, and the role that Kimberly Clark is playing there uh, in, in, in leading um, uh, the, the work with partners is, um, is, really, is really inspiring. And I think the other thing that we're finding, um, and, and Pete, this is a bit of a preview to some meetings we'll be having with you and the Toilet Board Partners uh, coming up in the next weeks, but um, we've also just uh, looked into the pipeline of entrepreneurs that we've been working with over the, the past five years and, and the, the pipeline that continues to grow in terms of sanitation economy solutions. And there is a, an increasing number of women entrepreneurs um, that are bringing new solutions uh, to the sanitation economy and, and really um, uh, thinking about how do women see sanitation and hygiene differently um, in, in terms of how um, sanitation systems may have been designed to date. And, and so we're seeing a lot of exciting innovation um, coming from women entrepreneurs. And, uh, and, uh, and as you know, um, part of the, the program going forward and, and Kimberly Clark is, is part of this is to, is to really encourage that women empowerment and, and really uh, closing the gender gap doesn't just mean equity, but it means um, in, in terms of um, uh, access, but it means equity in, in, in terms of um, the new opportunities that women can bring to the economy, to society because of their different viewpoint. And, uh, and I think that's a really exciting area in, in sanitation. Oh, I do too. I think that's really exciting. I think it's really important for us to over index on women owned business and I would say minority owned business and black owned business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it's a real opportunity um, for us to support those entrepreneurs through the toilet board coalition and I know Kimberly Clark will do our part. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking today and, and sharing um, you know some of the uh, the behind the scenes work that, uh, that that you've been doing with the toilet board coalition uh, and the the entrepreneurs that, that you're mentoring uh, and um, we look forward to continue to work with you and and uh, take on your challenge to, to speed it all up